we couldn't go on the distance. Yeah. The bitters we go on the distance. They just wanna be us. They don't wanna see us go in the distance. For layers, for layers, layers. Said you couldn't go on the distance. For layers, for layers. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hello, hello, my Virgos, and welcome to February, y'all, right? Hope you're enjoying Aquarius season, okay? Um, well, let's get into the reading, okay? Because it's seeming like, my Virgos, there you're going through something, y'all, okay? Um, we need to clear these vibes, okay, this month. So let's get into it, because I'm pulling cards, and I'm shuffling, and Be Honest With Yourself came out. And I was like, Virgo. What's going on? Okay. Because usually Virgo is one of the most honest signs. You know, it's like, look, Virgo is the one that's like very practical. Sometimes you have to be, work on, you know, not being so honest. Okay. Um, you're so critical in, in, in your analysis and you can really zoom in and see, oh, this is what's going on here. And da, 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 I should do this. Da, da, da. Um, and, 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 you know, earth energy um, can be kind of controlling over the earth elements, you know, so Virgo, you know, in your reality, you can kind of have sometimes a little bit of, um, and I'm Virgo rising, so, you know, this is me too, um, <laughs> excuse me, like, like, control freak in a way, um, OCD, you know, nitpicky, um, but there's an energy now coming in of really needing to bring this energy in and being very nitpicky with yourself, okay, um, and not, not critical, okay, not in a way of, of self-deprecation, not saying that. But researching and, and, and zooming in and not running from a situation, you know, it's the time to really investigate and see, okay, internally, what's going on? Why am I feeling this way? Why am I acting this way? Why is the situation affecting me this way? Okay. Or what, how should it affect me differently? Or, or is this worth my time? Is this worth my energy? Okay. Um, a lot of, of deep understanding coming in of your heart. Okay. Because this is the three cards that came out for your advice. You're going to be receiving guidance as you go. And look, look, the guide is literally like, sit down, okay? <laughs> sit on down, okay? Don't run, okay? And look, investigate, okay? See what's going on. And they're guiding his pen, okay? So so when you, when you um, you know, take the time to sit, to, to, to reflect on what, what occurred. It's some past stuff, okay? We'll, we'll get into it. Um, and from an honest perspective within yourself, okay? Um, this could even be looking and not saying, this could be looking at a situation honestly, okay? And maybe maybe you could be giving another person the benefit of the doubt, you know? This is looking in, in practicality, okay, on the real. How are they really affecting you, okay? Um, because maybe you have high hopes for this person, okay? But how are they pulling your life, all right? It's really a time to be honest with yourself, okay? And there's this trustworthy guidance here, okay? So as you're tapping in, and, and notice this is a, a sign of isolation, a card of isolation as well, okay? So as you're tapping in here, you're going to be guided, okay? It's good. Your mind's going to be guided. You're going to understand lots of clarity is going to be coming from just kind of deep introspective energy, okay? Um, heart shocker came in as well, all right? And so I really think that's what I was saying with, with it's in your heart. It's something in your heart. This could also be a situation, maybe you're in a place of confusion, okay? Maybe not sure, okay, what's the next steps? Or not sure, um, you know, how things are going to turn out. But Spirit's saying, you know, be honest with yourself. You have a feeling of what's going to occur. It's in your heart, okay? And trust that. Trust that guidance. The, the, your heart is a guide, okay? This could be another main message, okay? Um... There's two main, main messages. One is a big relationship message that I'm seeing. Um, and it could be with partnerships, within intimate relationships, career. Um, but I really see, you know, a lot of past situations coming back. We got the Five of Swords coming in, okay? Situations where, you know, you might have felt things were taken from you or you might have felt things were out of balance. We got the balance card coming in as well for this reading, Okay. I mean, we'll get to that in a sec. Um, but what I'm really seeing is that um, it, it's it's something that occurred in the past, okay? Something you're working with, okay? And so this month of February, you're going to be looking at these past situations, looking at what occurred, and trying to infuse new strength with them, okay? This could also be saying that, that, that you may have been telling yourself, telling a false story about yourself. 
it's time to be honest with yourself about who, how you speak of yourself, how you think of yourself, okay? You could be thinking way less of yourself, okay? And needing to have true strength, okay? And, 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 and true, and you're going to be guided to that, okay? To see who you are from your heart, okay? Um, when you're looking at the aspect of the heart, this also could be seeing, you know, you're looking at the physical. Oh my God, I don't have, you know, the money I need. I don't, I can't support people the way I want to. Or, oh my gosh, I don't have the stability I need. You know, or, oh my gosh, I'm not, I'm not balling. You know, my goals aren't coming in fast enough. Okay. But that's looking at the material, you know, where, where you know, where are you, is the, where are you in the realm of the spiritual, you know, in your heart? Okay. You're caring, you're helpful. Okay, you 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 um, you know, you, you you what's the word I'm looking for? Um, very observant, but but a lot of people miss things. Okay, and and they don't even end up helping out until they find, like later in the game. Okay, Virgo in a group, if somebody's feeling kind of weird, you can you you you're so observant and analytical. You're like, ooh, some things, their body language is weird, isn't it? And maybe I could should show them more attention. And you're like, oh, what are you thinking about? You know, maybe they're shy. Virgo's able to pick up on that. That's a really amazing trait, okay? And that's something that is shows a very caring heart, okay? Um, and so this could be what it is. You know, it's maybe you're seeing yourself, you got to find new strength within yourself this month because see, seeing yourself with values, you know, re-looking at values this month, okay? And re-looking at... Um, the way you saw situations, you know, maybe think certain things you saw as a loss actually gain, was a major gain spiritually. It might have been a financial loss, but it was a spiritual gain, okay? And so the material comes again. It's cyclical, you know. As long as the spiritual is increasing, the material will increase. But we also are on a material plane where it's in cycles, okay? There's falls and there's winters and there's, you know, death and decay. And then there's spring and there's growth. Okay, so, you know, the spirit probably was was shedding a lot of situations so that you can grow spiritually. And then as this new spring season comes in, new abundance is going to be coming in. Okay, let me see. And they're saying you've been daydreaming about it. Okay, so things you've been daydreaming about, they're coming in. Look at the justice card here. Okay, split the deck. So, you know, it, it's balance is coming. Okay, justice is going to be served. Okay. But right now, there's a need to clear away. Again, this is why I'm saying that Clear Your Vibes card came in. Clear away a lot of different situations of how you see yourself, um, how you see situations, how they went. Maybe you thought that you lost in the situation or you left weaker. But honestly, no. You gained the most wisdom. Okay? Don't look at the physical. Again, what, what, what spiritually occurred? Okay? Maybe they won in physically. Okay? But that's not going to get them that far. I mean, one physically, yeah, but spiritually, you gained, okay? That's going to push you. That's why we're here, to gain spiritually on the big scale, okay? So there's a need to really look at certain situations that occurred, okay, to find new strength within them. This also, there is one message, Virgo, if you are <laughs> this character here, okay, and you Mr. Voiceful, okay, um, just know that... There is a need to be honest with yourself because that is not going to maybe if there's been an argument or something and you're leading with this strong, you know, egoic, like, well, it, it is what it is, you know, this, you know, um, and that's a false sense of strength. If you feel like you have to put on all that. OK, so maybe this could, month could be looking at being honest with yourself in your heart. Why do you feel so threatened in certain situations? OK, um, that's one other thing I saw, you know, because that is the five of swords can, is a kind of dual energy. Um, but, you know, it's definitely going to be a need to clear, a need to really zoom in. And as you zoom in and, and think, you know, how, why is this working out the way this is? Or, you know, as soon as all that happens through objective thinking, you know, not lo looking at, oh, my God, I feel this way. Why did this happen to me? That's subjective, you know, looking at it from your perspective. Zoom out and see, hmm, what could this be teaching me? What could this be showing me? Okay. And then guidance is going to be coming in because the answers are in your heart. Okay. Um... And then it's going to be occurring quickly, or I think the situation that occurred could have occurred quickly. You got the eight of the ace, the eight of wands, okay, coming in for this month. So a lot of quick changes are going to be coming in and shifts that are going to be coming in. I really think spiritually you're going to be like, boom, boosting up. As you look at partnerships this month and look at, you know, the, the interplay, you know, well, what went on, okay? Maybe this is a situation where you both ended up where your cups are not full. You poured each other's cups out. You know, now both parties are 
kind of empty and, and, and not feeling, you know, ready to move forward, okay? Or it just did not work out. Or this is saying that, you know, the, the balance, again, is not there, okay? But for Virgo, it's saying that you're, when you're in partnerships, your fiery, determined king of wands energy is being put out. I literally see, like, water. Somebody is like this in the partnership. They're like, as soon as you get, you know, feeling good and you're doing your thing, someone's like, and just pours your water out. And you're like, dang. Like, what, what did I do to deserve that, you know? Um, or they critique you, or, oh, why would you say that? Or, the, or they, you know, make you over-question, you know? And, and all these different things come in, okay? And that, that ends up giving them the power again and puts you back in this energy of literally the divine physician, okay? Because this is your energy. You're a Virgo. This is the sixth house. This is all about... You know, you're here, you know so many things of how to help people. You know all the best, you know, oh, try this medicine or try this. Um, you know, I, I know I do this this way. Try this routine, okay? But it's in, it needs to be in, again, balance, okay? It needs to be in a balanced situation. You shouldn't be too burdened by, you know, that energy. Everybody shouldn't be coming to you to use your good energy to help them. Okay, because they're not doing it in a balanced way. They're doing it in a kind of a, a, a narcissistic, um, vampirish way. They're taking your energy, okay? Um, you know, that could be a lot of what's going on, okay? So there's need to find balance this month, okay? And as that occurs, look at what came in the tower. There's going to be a major shift foundationally, okay, in how you move forward, okay? And then we got the Page of Cups. So this is saying that, you know, after this major shift, maybe you, there's something spoken to others. Um, but it's also, and, and out, of, out of that, you know, you're letting them know, look, this is not how it's rolling anymore, okay? Um, there needs to be some balance in this situation. And then now they're coming, they're coming and offering, oh, okay, 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 I get you. I get you. I'm so sorry, you know, I, because they, they understand your value. You have reasserted your value. You're like, look, no, you know, you're only benefiting from this, okay? Well, have you been thinking of me recently, you know? And then they're like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. Like, you know, now they're coming back. Or this is you saying after the, after this foundational, look, you know, look, it's like, oh, these partnerships, this business or whatever, this career I was at, I was in was putting out my fire. I was not feeling determined. I was not feeling strong. OK. And so now I'm looking for more situations. I'm going to where I'm moving next is going to be situations where that are going to bring compassion to me. OK. More creative endeavors, more, you know, joyful endeavors. OK. Um, endeavors that could be more artistic. OK. Or just speak to your heart more. Again, this is heart chakra energy. Maybe you were doing things in your career that were solely based on money or solely based on status. And you're realizing the people you were, you know, going towards or growing with or trying to, you know, get at the higher levels with are not good energy. Okay? This also could. The King of Wands in verse is very, you know, super narcissistic. Like, he wants his way and he's not thinking and trying to balance at all. This could be energies. This could not be your energy of fire being put out. This could be you're dealing with people that have this King of Wands energy in reverse, okay? And you're like, look, I'm done with dealing with these people that don't care about me. They don't have a good compassion. They don't treat people right, okay? This could be in partnership, in job, career. You're like, look, I'm trying to find balance, okay? Don't use me anymore. I need to clear my vibes from that, okay? And find a way to do things on my own. This could also mean, you know, entrepreneurship, okay? Let me figure out how to get this on my own because working with these people, this is not good energy. Okay. Now, the last um, kind of oracle advice for I kind of just pull some extra cards to see what the real tea to make sure we're getting all the, all of the tea down. Okay. The miracles of nature, you want to just feel like natural. You want things to just flow naturally. You're literally like, why is this so hard? <laughs> why can't people get this? You know, why can't I just wake up, do what I want to do, have the support I want to have, and, you know, it, it's a natural flow. I don't have to put on anything for other anybody. I don't have to deal with anybody's mess. Okay. Um, there can be balance. People are both looking out for each other's hearts. Uh, where is this? Okay, why is thing? Why are things so? Why do I have to feel like I always have to put on such a shield? Okay, or why is everybody else coming at me? Why do I have to feel like I have to be so internally strong to deal with people around me? Okay, you want to just be natural. And what I'm seeing, I really, I, the spiritual gifts card came out, and I really was seeing that, you know, this past eclipse that occurred that really just ended actually on this new moon in Aquarius that happened on the fourth really showed you your gifts, okay? It showed you these spiritual gifts that are in the heart that I, that I was talking about earlier. They're not the physical ones, but the ones that, 
you know, compassionate. Um, you know, you're looking out for people, that kind of energy, okay? You, you, you saw that, okay? And you're seeing how it affects others. And now you're like, okay, this is coming out. Both of these have this golden energy here. This is something natural to you that, that's coming out. And now you're looking for how can this be balanced in my life? Because right now I'm, I'm everybody's like maid. I'm everybody's servant. I'm everybody's physician. Okay. So you have to clear that vibe. Now, Spirit, anything else for my lovely Virgos you have? Any other messages for them? Again, their support, loved one in heaven. I really feel like maybe there's some, and for a lot of Virgos too, you hold so much karma being on the axis of the 6th and 12th house with Pisces. And with that, you know, it's, it's, you have strong missions. Okay. And so there could be a lot of, um, energy coming in to get you on a certain path. You, you, there's a, a major um, thing you're here to do, okay? A major purpose for you. And you have a lot of guidance here to anytime you, you, you know, are getting on it, getting out of a certain pattern, okay? Um, and you need support and you're like, you want to, you know, oh, I want this for myself. I, you know, once you start to want a stronger, you know, more support for yourself, more compassion for yourself, you want to see yourself in better situations away from those king of wands and reverses okay the support comes all the way in you've got spirit animal coming in okay so you're going to be receiving messages through animals seeing birds seeing feathers okay dreams messages and dreams loved one in heaven there's going to be hella support coming in from my virgos okay but there has to be an, a, a need to grow a need to get out of certain situations sometimes you can get lost and let people kind of finesse you and you end up like Oh, no, it's fine. Yeah, we do. I do everything for them, but it's cool. You know, we have this great relationship. And it's like, do you really, or are you just doing everything for them? You know? And so once you start to do for yourself, new beginning, okay? And all the trust, the guidance comes in. You got, it's all there, okay? So look what, <laughs> the top of the deck, trustworthy friends. Do you see what's happening? You, you, get, you get the support you need, okay? You get the unconditional love you need. The bottom of the deck, transformation, okay? But it needs to be, again, this is very similar to the tower, okay? Look, he's holding all the blessings, but you really gotta, got to clear the foundation. The transformation comes through complete death and rebirth, okay? It's a complete, it's like alchemy. You gotta shift the whole energy. Again, the transformation card is out. But look what's on the bottom of the deck. <laughs> Spiritual support. So the message is coming in like 20 million times, okay? Um, and spirits that listen to it, you got it. So the first card, again, the first card out was what? Be honest with yourself. So you feel this, you feel that, the, you know, where you're at is ending. You got to get, you got to get to new, new heights. You're growing. Okay. You want to get to the king of pentacles. You want to be handling the king Midas, Midas touch, strong support, grounded, stable. Okay. And so, yeah, this pattern's almost ending up. Okay. This pattern is almost ending. There's two more cards coming up, but it's a belief. It's a major belief that you've been holding. Okay. That needs to go. Okay. Um, Look at the Wheel of Fortune coming out the last bit. Look at these two. So much, so many major arcanas in this reading, okay? Literally the last three cards, okay? So there's a major need, a major conclusion's coming in. That's going to bring new beginnings, new blessings for you. But you got to release certain, you know, the Hierophant can also be following the status quo, um, you know, being overly humble, okay? Um, you know, maybe, you know, it's something you learned in church, something you learned uh, maybe your your parents were very um, strong willed and and very you know you should do this and why, why do you you know and and really set a strong belief in you, but it's actually hindering you okay the way you're thinking so it's really strong to be honest with yourself to get to this King of Pentacles energy y'all okay last card out new dreams are coming new visions are coming okay at, by the end of the month. Okay, and a lot of fast energy this month. A lot can change this month, Virgo. Lots of energies here to change, um, new beginnings. But it's really this energy of this unconditional love. You know, not sacrificing yourself anymore, and only going to people that that see you truly. Okay, so that's what I have, my Virgos. I hope you enjoyed this reading, loves, um, and enjoy February. Okay, if you're a new Virgo watching, what's up? What's up? Subscribe if you like my vibe, and check out any other. Um, videos, you know, all that good stuff, you okay? Um, I have, um, if you know me already, you've been watching, thanks for always tuning in. Make sure you hit the like button if you like the video, all right? And share to any other Virgos or any other people, you know, that, that you feel like are interested in spirituality, are growing and have going through their spiritual awakening, or just need guidance, you know? Um, it's, it's really great to, oh, oh my god, I just, I just, you know, watch this video, maybe it'll resonate with you, okay? 
Um, so that's what I have for you guys. If this really hit and you want to go deeper into the situation, you know I'm always here. Check out my services. Link is below. And that's what I have for you. Deuces, my Virgos. Enjoy the month of February, y'all.